So the Prime Minister made a big promise to try and win over her party on Brexit. She said that if they pass what she's negotiated so far, that's the withdrawal agreement, she will let someone else take over as Prime Minister to negotiate the next bit, which is about our future relationship with the European Union. Now that's won over some big names. People like Boris Johnson are now saying they will vote with the government. But, and it's a big but, not everyone is saying that. There are still some Tory Brexiteers who aren't on board and the DUP, who the government need to pass votes, are saying they're not going to back it yet. We cannot sign up to something that would damage the union. So what about alternative plans? Well, MPs spent a long time discussing them and voting on eight alternative strategies. Everything from leaving without a deal to staying in the single market. Here's the catch. None of that got a majority in the Commons. There were some options that got a lot of votes, things like a closer relationship than the one the government wants, or potentially putting a deal back to the people in another referendum. But none of it has got over the line yet. The government still says the only realistic option is its deal. The results of the process this House has gone through today strengthens our view that the deal the government has negotiated is the best option. And opposition MPs are hoping they can bring more options back to discuss next week. But the truth is, we've said it before, it's not clear what happens next.